I am on my way to my first EMDR session. We always meet in my car, but it's just convenient whenever I'm having to just talk one on one with y'all instead of vlogging with the family. But I'm on my way to my first EMDR session. Again, if you're not aware of what EMDR is or if you're confused as to what I am talking about, I will link the video that I described everything up here and then I'll also leave the description of EMDR right here on the screen for you. So yeah, I'm on my way there right now. Um, sorry if it's shaky. I'm gonna update you guys right after I get out so that it's fresh and um, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, well, I just got out of my first EMDR session. That was a great experience. So today we worked on finding my safe place and establishing that and basically I like would see my safe place in my mind while following the lights back and forth and basically I'm probably just gonna like say this all wrong but it simulates the left and right hemisphere of your brain to process that and I established my safe place while following the light back and forth and then after I established my safe place I established like a safe word or a safe phrase. I don't know if y'all want to hear in detail, but I'll just go ahead and kind of um, say what my safe place is or where my mind immediately went when she said that was my mamaw's house in Throckmorton. I just like always felt the safest when I was there and I just had a lot of visions coming into my mind of me you know, running around outside and going down to the lake because my mamaw lived on on this street and it was like literally right by the lake. So I'd like ride my bike down to the lake and then there was um, a stable across the street with this horse and I would like go over there and like pet the horse. So I was like visualizing all of that at the same time as following the light back and forth and it was making me emotional in a in a good way like in a happy way let's see so she would like so after each one of the sessions of the light going back and forth we would stop i would take a deep breath and then she would ask me like what i felt or what i saw or if i like could like physically feel anything as i was thinking about it or whatever so i would just like you know answer her questions about that and then we did that a few more times and then we established what my safe word or safe phrase is and it's fireflies in a mason jar and the reason that I picked that to be my safe phrase is because me and my mamaw used to go out at night and like go try to catch fireflies in a mason jar and that would be my night light for that night so basically what she said is that anytime I start to remember a traumatic experience or anytime, you know, anything is feeling uncomfortable or whatever, I just like think of that phrase, fireflies in a mason, mason jar. And what I just did for the past hour in there was train my brain to associate that phrase with my safe place and my safe memories and it was seriously the coolest thing ever like i i can't even say fireflies in a mason jar without smiling like we we even did a few practice runs in there where she was like think of something that you know was traumatic to you 
and I would like think of it and then she would say now say your safe phrase and I would say fireflies in a mason jar and it like seriously made me feel so much better but we still have a long way to go so we didn't actually specifically do any of the EMDR for any of the traumatic events yet we just established my safe place and then we also did the container it's called a container she called it a container um, exercise where basically I picture a very strong container and a lock on the container that I can put traumatic events in and like close the door to it and basically what I'm supposed to do this week is I'm supposed to kind of like try um, those two different methods that she taught me today which are the safe place and the container method try out those this week whenever I start like thinking about something traumatic or something traumatic starts or like you know something starts making me feel uncomfortable try those two methods in that and just see which one's gonna work best for me but I feel like I can already say that the safe place is going to work the best for me because I can honestly say that those were and still are my some of my favorite memories that I have from my childhood were in Throckmorton with my mama. Uh, so another thing that was kind of weird was I I don't even know how to say this right but I had while I was doing it I had a dissociation where like it's just common with people with PTSD but basically you can like see yourself doing something and I like kind of like snapped out of it really quick because I realized I was doing it like I could see myself doing I don't know it's weird but anyways <laughs> I just wanted to update y'all I'm so excited to bring you along with this journey I feel like I'm I'm gonna just keep getting better mentally and thank y'all so much for coming along for the ride so it's day one of EMDR therapy for you. I'm looking really rough. Sorry about that. But I'm about to go into my second therapy session. Just wanted to check in before I go in. My appointment is in four minutes. I'll fill you in on what happened whenever I get back. Okay, well I just got out of my second EMDR session. So today we started with the very first memory that I have that was a traumatizing memory. And so basically what she had me do was picture the memory and like whatever picture of it was the most significant to me. I told her what it was and then we really just focused in on that image and then she had me choose a phrase that represented the way that I felt looking at that image and so I'll just uh, kind of just tell you what what it was I'm not going to tell you the experience or the image or anything but I'll tell you the words so in that image looking at it I just felt like the phrase that popped up first in my head was, I'm not important. So then after I picked that, she had me pick a phrase that I would like to associate with myself, like a positive association instead of the negative association that I had, which was, I'm not important. She wanted me to choose a, a phrase that was positive and that I wanted to associate with myself in that. Sorry, I'm kind of like scatterbrained, but I just wanted to say all this really quickly before it was, wasn't fresh on my mind. The phrase that I chose instead was, uh, I'm enough. I had to hold that image and kind of just, the goal is to just like see where my brain goes as I'm following the light. So it just like goes back and forth, back and forth, and I have to follow it with my eyes. At the same time, I have to hold that image in my head and we didn't get all the way through with this first incident so we'll start back up next week in that same spot. I just wanted to kind of say 
really quickly for anyone that is thinking about doing EMDR or whatever. It's not like a quick fix. It's not um, like a few sessions and you're you're done and you you're better or whatever. And it's not like there's something wrong with me or whatever, but it's just whenever you experience traumatic things, your brain does not know how to like it doesn't know how to like put that back in your memory in the right way. Like, I don't know. It's just like, it's a traumatic experience. So you have to literally go back in to those memories and train your brain. That's the point of the light. And I'm probably like not explaining this very well, but this is just what I understand of it. But you have to like go back in and like train your brain to file it away properly instead of as a traumatic experience that makes you feel like in this first incident, I'm not important. So literally that first experience that I had a long time ago, I associated that with I'm not important. So then that carried into the rest of my life, if that makes any sense. So I'm going back in and I'm like literally training my brain to associate myself with I'm enough instead of I'm not important. So like in order to do that, it, it takes some time to like teach your brain to process it again so that was the second session you know I'm working on it I'm a work in progress and I'm really excited to go on this journey I'm just like kind of documenting this so that I can like look back and see how far I've come and so that if anyone out there is struggling with something traumatic and don't know if like EMDR is the right thing for you maybe this will give you a little bit of insight and inspire you to get some help in that way or whatever and yeah just if y'all have any questions or comments whatever leave them down in the comment section I'm gonna be an open book throughout this whole process I don't know if I'm gonna like go into detail about the experiences themselves but I will definitely be open about the way I'm feeling day to day that I do this so that being said thank y'all so much for watching the first and second session I actually was gonna do each one as a individual video but I think I'm gonna clump them into groups of two just so that it's kind of a little bit more like you can see the progression you know from one to day to the next and then so on and so forth or whatever so um, if you're new and you're just now seeing my videos for the first time I hope that you'll stick around and hit that subscribe button I'm gonna be being very vulnerable throughout this whole process and at the same time I just want um, everyone to know that I'm doing this for myself as well as my family. I do think it's very important for your mental state to be... I just think mental health is important and I like didn't even realize it until I was having mental breakdowns and just like depressed, deeply depressed until like, I just don't want that to be the situation for anyone else. Like, if I can help anyone, I want to do that. So, thank you all so much, and I will see you all in the next video.